Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Hey, what's going on? Welcome back. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing at the Mad Cheese as always. Got a new offense for you guys and a new gameplay to show it off in. I'm in next gen. Uh, I've decided to play some regs based off of the fact that if you start uh, something in next in old gen, you can't carry it over in a new gen. So I just jumped into to some regs uh, because I wanted to get some gameplay. I already put out my first uh, next gen gameplay a couple days ago. I tried to put a link in the description for that, a tips video. But this is all about an offensive scheme. So I'm going to go ahead and begin to a new offensive scheme. I'm using the Raiders offense. I'm using some plays from my Raiders offensive ebook and I promise you guys whether you're a new gen or old gen it really doesn't matter these plays work the same they've been in my offensive ebook all year so I promise to work on either one but I wanted to get some next gen gameplay out uh, for people that are on next gen and this is also one of my first next gen games so I'm also figuring out the difference between next gen and old gen but with that being said I also want to let you guys know that I just updated my website I got a whole bunch of brand new ebooks and bundles on there so check them out I have a whole bunch of new stuff on there uh, other than that let's go and let's get right into the gameplay so I'm going to try to use a lot of stuff that I put out. That play there gets totally destroyed. So on the next play, I mean, I'm anticipating uh, some man coverage because he ran man coverage on the last play. And these speed out routes in last gen destroy man coverage. So I'm expecting, I basically do a pre-snap read, expecting this B route since it's the open side of the field to poop all over this. And I don't know if I just didn't time it right or what because he picks it off. Nobody comes anywhere near him to tackle him. He just gets up, takes it to the house. Zach Ertz is too slow to tackle him. And we're in a 7 nothing <laughs> hole to start the game. Damn it! So I'm going to go right to some of my more favorite stuff, which is, you guys know I've been running pretty much this all year. I mean, it's all about the mid-high low and the strong curl. These two plays, the plays don't really feel any different. I feel like for the most part, with the exception of what beats man, all these plays are pretty much the same. Uh, on this next play here, I'm going to dot this guy up coming over the middle here. Uh, we're going to hit him with a pretty much a hurry up because we just want to want to get back on top. So we go from the middle high low. Like I said, the next play is the strong curl, uh, which is something we've been running pretty much all year. Uh, the only thing that I noticed that's really different, number one, you can definitely moss people a lot easier in next gen. And number two, what beats man is definitely different. I mean, these outside, um, a lot of these corner routes do a lot better beating man in next gen than they do in current gen. Corner routes don't really beat man uh, when it comes to current gen. But in next gen, you have a lot of success with it. On this next play, though, uh, somebody forgot to tell my receiver that once again i don't know if my timing is off or what but maybe i should have floated that i guess i bullet passed mm. that which kind of cost me but that definitely should have been a touchdown i throw another interception so like i said i'm definitely not starting off too hot on the defensive side we're still pretty much using uh the same defensive formation we've been using the 335 and we're rocking with the cover three cloud most of the game but on this first play i don't get my adjustments in and my opponent calls a play i'm stuck in like a 4-3 which basically the computer called for me nope. so on the first play we get to stop because it's a decent defense but then he calls a hurry up so now i'm kind of stuck in the defense I don't want to be in. I'm in a cover two which is not a very good defense to begin with. I'm hoping that he runs the ball again. Sure enough he does not but I mean he didn't notice there was a guy streaking right down the middle and then he just gets a bad animation. So I get lucky on that first series but we're going to go right back to that 3 through 5 because that was always the plan. I got a new defense I'm going to drop on you guys later in the week. Hit the like button if you want to see that but for right now we're definitely just rocking this 3 through 5. It's still really good still a really good defense. On the next play I mean I'm all over that using that up a storm and he just gets some pretty bad passing animations he just throws to the sideline. He's going to go for it on fourth and 10 i mean he's up a touchdown i guess he wants to try to to put to salt this away early i don't know but it's not the best decision he tries to step up uh with russell wilson he does this quite a bit where you go where he just drops back a mile <laughs> And we get an interception here. We're going to take this the other way with one of the slowest linebackers on our team. And we have a 7-7 ball game, uh, which is pretty much all defensive scoring. I know a lot of people say that Next Gen doesn't have defense, but you're going to see a lot of defense in this game. So here we go on the next series. He's still trying to work a lot of magic. His whole game plan is working magic with Russell Wilson, which, hey, I mean, Russell Wilson is a beast, so I can understand that. But it's going to bite him in the ass a couple times, too. So on that play right there, he definitely bought some time. Second and uh, inches here, he's going to go up. He's, I mean, you know, I try. The, the only thing that really gives this defense problems is even though I try to flood the middle with zones, uh, there really isn't a ton of, uh, you know, I mean, there's still a decent amount of holes in the center. That's about it. You can't throw deep on this defense, though. You're going to see that throughout the gameplay. And if you've seen any of my gameplays using this defense, you can tell you can't throw deep on it. You can really only throw short. So in the next play there, he hits me with another short pass. He's moving down the field. He's running a lot of hurry up. You're going to see that as well. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. 
we get a sack right there. That's the one thing that's good about the Eagles. They don't really have a great secondary or linebackers, but their defensive line will get pressure for you uh, with no problems. Uh, then on the next play, I mean, like I say, still running a hurry up, even though it doesn't really even seem to be helping. Still hit me with a lot of short stuff. Like I said, you really can't go deep in this defense. If you try to go deep on this defense, you're going to get picked off. Uh, and then on the next play, we're going to hit him with a new formation, the cover three cloud uh, out of the dime. I'm really just using the cover three cloud in different packages, uh, but this is not the defense I was talking about when I said I'm going to bring guys a new defense. I got a different defense from all this. Uh, and then on the next play, he's going to take off Russell Wilson again. I mean, that's the thing, man. When, they, when, they, when the quarterback just breaks the defense, his back like that just takes off. There's not a lot you can do. Uh, but I'm trying to match him with speed. That's why I'm coming out on the dime now because I'm trying to make sure I get a lot of speed out here. And then on the next play, I don't even know what play that is, but that was definitely effective. That was definitely... What the a slick looking play that I'm not really aware of. So on the offensive side, we're going to go ahead and we're going to show you guys the offensive formation I'm going to be using. It's going to be the gun bunch tight end. I put out a full breakdown of this. I'll try to put a link in the description for you guys if you want to see the full breakdown of this offense. Uh, we're starting off though. We're going to set up our, uh, our audibles. We're pretty much going to use the stick, the inside switch, and uh, the PA boot over, which is going to be the first play that I run. Now the PA boot over, all these plays really start uh, with the run game, which is the inside zone. Uh, but I'm going to hit him with the PA boot over on the first play because he has no idea hit him with a little bit of a fake motion just make him think it's a pass and then we're just going to basically i mean a lot of people are just going to cover this short route leaving this wide route wide open and i don't know what happened there a lot of, that happened to my opponent a couple different times so i really can't be mad about it but i had to take uh all sean jeffrey out of the game all the speed receivers on philadelphia is pretty much how i run my offense i pretty much always got to have the sean jackson jalen rager and marcus Godwin as my number one two and three receivers i mean i like a lot of the young guys on this roster i'm an eagles fan if you guys don't know uh, but i definitely need my speed guys out there so we're always going to be looking for this inside zone. That's one of the main things when it comes to this offense. You see my opponent, Psych! he's still reacting to the pass plays. I hit him with that fake motion one more time, make him think that that's, you know, I'm still setting up the pass plays. But this PA boot overplay especially doesn't get stopped by any man or zone in the game. So it's really all about the user. So I got to keep that user in the box. I got to keep that user guessing. That's why I'm always going to try to hit this run play first because I want to make sure that this guy is confused. Where you go? He doesn't get all over those routes. You can see he's chasing those routes even when they're not there he's chasing ghosts out there so it's really all about doing that first on this next play he's standing up his defensive end i don't know why he thinks that's going to help especially when it comes to stopping this run play so like i said once again i'm just going to switch over to that inside zone anytime that i can i'm going to run the ball because ultimately it's a really good run play but i mean really i'm trying to set up the pass plays if he's going to overly adjust to the uh the passing defense i'm going to hit him with the run play pretty much every time and then like i said i'm trying to hit him with a, with a deep ball here play touchdown on the left side but the ace day route here just gives me leverage and i'll just take the first down i mean if i'm gonna get outside leverage on a man beater like that i'm gonna take it but the wire route was gone on that play next play we try to do it again but i didn't like it so this time i'm just gonna play maker him up you know get some ground get some some yards on the ground i mean i'm just gonna play it smart sometimes you just have to to take the first downs on the next play i try to do that again but he totally whiffs on the tackle and i just basically get an easy touchdown right up the gut so it's 14 all with about you know just under two minutes left i'm still going with that dime defense because like i said anytime i'm facing somebody who has a mobile quarterback who's who's basically you know doing a lot of uh a lot of run around i want to get as much speed on the field as possible even though the eagles don't really have good cornerbacks i mean they have might have one good cornerback on the entire you know field i'm gonna keep hitting with this dime defense just so i can have enough speed out there to try to take care of russell wilson because six dbs is better than pretty much any defense that i can think of on the next play he's gonna you know playmaker me stick around wait throws it up and sure enough we get a knockout right there so like i said it's a good defense anytime you have a cover three cloud it's pretty much going to be the same setup here we go once again on this next play this defense it does the trick for the most part but based off the fact that russell wilson's just pulling magic out of his hat i mean look at that throw it feels like it feels like every throw he's made was like a pinpoint accurate throw to the sideline by the way i don't even know i mean i don't know what russell wilson's uh superstar abilities are or whatever in this game because i don't play a lot of regs but i, I mean they must be they must be off the chain because this dude's just i'm kind of just switching back and forth i mean i'm pretty much just in the same cover three cloud just through different coverages uh, and on the next play luckily we get a little bit of pressure uh basically to make him throw it away on third and seven i mean he holds the ball entirely too long um and there's nothing really open here we can go we get a sack fumble, uh, which should be enough to push him out of field goal range, but he's going to go for it. So fourth and 27, I'm pretty much expecting that I'm guaranteed to get the ball back. On the next play, I follow him and I follow the crosser. He throws it up and I just didn't want to intercept it because I didn't want to get the ball there. And sure enough, I get mossed by DK Metcalf. Damn it! 
just because I didn't want to, I just didn't want to get the interception there. I've done that so many times where I get an interception and I cost myself field position. Uh, all I really did here was kept his drive alive. So here on third and nine, we got a, a chance to stop him one more time. Sure enough, he's going to roll out Russell Wilson, which is pretty much all he does. Uh, and he's going to kick the field goal. So I'll take that. Like I said, I probably should have got ball back. That totally pissed me off, but it is what it is. So he's got ball second half. Uh, we're still doing a lot of crazy stuff with him. I don't know what his plan was here. Oops. But he rolls out of the back of the end zone and he doesn't throw the ball past the line of scrimmage. So he gets a grounding in the end zone. <laughs> Definitely one of the dumbest plays I've seen in a while, but the guy, I mean, he's just been doing so many things. I guess he figures he's untouchable. So on the offensive side, still hitting him with that inside zone. Anytime I can run that, I'm going to do that because we're setting up the big play here anyway. Sure enough, on the next play, I mean, he doesn't cover he doesn't cover deep enough. He covers shallow, and I know that Bobby Wagner's a beast, but you really need a safety at the very least to try to cover something like that. So on the next play, he's still he's just not respecting the running game. You can see he's coming out in small defensive packages. He keeps picking up the defensive end, which is never a good idea. So we're just going to keep hitting him with these run plays every chance we get if we can run this run play we're going to do it uh because you know at the end of the day i'm trying to set up these deep passes anyway the pa boot over is constantly uh feeding me here on the next play we're going to switch it up a little bit we're going to go with the inside switch this is probably the play that i run for the rest of the game to be honest with you uh all we're going to do is motion over the y route here put him on a slant or a drag it really doesn't matter uh and the a route here is really going to be the read I and mean, we have so many good routes open here uh, on the next play he hits me with a cover one though and that linebacker is just not going to cover my tight ends we get the touchdown against the cover one so going for two once again hit him with that inside zone anytime he doesn't you know pack the box i mean it's really a single read if he packs the box i'm going to pass if he doesn't pack the box i'm going to run so here he doesn't pack the box uh the whole field opens wide open right up the middle there and I, luckily i get it because i've got met in the hole luckily i got that fall forward animation or else i wouldn't have got that so we're up a touchdown now uh and we're coming right back to the uh, the cover three clouds pretty much the only thing we're going to run the defensive side i got faith in this defense on the in the long run but for the most part i hasn't been showing up for me uh, in regs here, uh, which, like I said, most people say, you know, next gen doesn't have a ton of defense. On this next play, though, I mean, he just barely drops that in the bucket right over my zone so he's got the ball inside the 14 like i said this guy's offense is uh it's really all russell wilson just doing amazing things and then Patrick cox just comes through with the big hit stick as he just walks right over the center like i said that's one of the best things about the eagles defense at least their st their defensive line will get you sacks out of nowhere uh pretty much unearned you don't have to do a ton and then he tries to throw deep which is what i told you doesn't work against his defense if you want to throw against his defense you better throw short because at the end of the day if you throw deep against these safeties they're going to take it every time so then we're going to hit with that inside side switch one more time we're going to switch it up just a little bit we're going to motion across this b route put him on a slant we're really just trying to work uh against the cover one here we leave our zig route on the y route that's going to be my check down the a route here is really what i'm trying to work because it worked out so good the first time but you can see the zig route just gets wide open so the motion is really about pulling the user to that side and if he leaves that side wide open i'm going to have that zig route pretty much every time so like i said the inside switch doesn't really matter what route i motion across either I mean, i'm going to do the exact same thing the b route will be my zig the y route will be my slant and i'm trying to work that a route so i don't 100 percent have uh, a read on this here but the a route is pretty much the guy that i'm looking for on the next play I, i'll lob, I lob it up but sure enough it's just a little bit out of bounds oh, you almost had it. so i don't quite have the accuracy but i'm going to keep going back to that i'm going to keep trying for that very next play doing the exact same setup like i said that a route will be there eventually but yeah. the zig right here you yeah. stop that yeah. you see we got some stick moves going on here like i said i feel like there's a lot more stick uh on next gen as well and i feel it's also more important so in the next play exact same setup he just keeps running this cover once so i'm just going to keep running this setup until he gets out of it uh and then sure enough this a route is going to break this time uh we're just going to bomb it up this time we're going to get it right to the sideline i mean if we could if we threw that a little bit early maybe not on the run maybe i would have had a catch and run on the score but it is what it is so we're going right back to the play one more time still going to you know still just eyeing that zig because we only need a couple of yards here and sure enough he's he thinks about using all over it uh you know i i didn't throw it because i saw the user in that area and i get sacked uh uh, next play like i said we're just going to keep doing this this is not something that he can stop especially with this man coverage a lot of people run man cover one that might be like the favorite defense here sure enough that zig just poops all over it i try to hit the guns but i mean i just get out shy on at the at the one yard line it is what it is because the next play once again he just i mean he stacks the box more than he's been but he just doesn't seem to have a very good run defense especially when i only need a yard so we hit him with that inside zone one more time we're just walking in uh and that's pretty much it he's gonna go ahead he's gonna head for the exits he doesn't even wait for the extra point he just hits the eject button and that's it that's the video so if you guys want to see more next gen stuff uh more offenses gameplay more offenses like this do me a favor let me know in the comment section at the like button other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more
more help or just want to show your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.